In this video, we are going to talk about the superposition theorem. So, what is superposition theorem and how to solve the linear circuits using superposition theorems. First of all, we need to talk about the definition of the superposition theorem. The superposition principle states that the voltage across an element in a linear circuit is the algebraic sum of the voltages across the element due to each independent source acting along. So what that mean is, when we try to find a voltage across an element or a current through an element, is the sum of the, the acting along the independent source. Only we consider the independent source. Dependent source, we let it as it is. How to apply the law is, we just need to consider the three main things. The first thing is, turn off all independent source except one source. So first thing is, turn off all independent source, pendant source, except one except one. One time we need to on only one independent source. De dependent source has it works. But independent source only one at one time. The second one is repeat the above step. Repeat the above step. Repeat the above step. Repeat the above step. One on each independent source. First one independent source, then another independent source, then another independent source, likewise. Then the third, the third one is find the total contribution. So we need to add, add all the things. We need to add all the things. The first one, second one, third one. The summation, the summation, give us the total amount of current or total voltage drop. So we need to uh, turn off the other sources, the voltage source and the current source. So how to turn off the voltage source is just short circuit it. Short circuit is mean uh, just to put a only wire for the voltage source. For a voltage source, you just need to put only wire for this for here to here. How to of the current sources for the current source? Uh, example, there is a current source likewise. You just cut off this. Cut off it. There are no line current pass through the wire. Likewise, we, we turn off the voltage source and current source. So let's take an example. It's an example. There is a circuit in here. There is a 4 amp uh, ammeter. 3 ohm resistor, 2 ohm resistor, there is a dependent voltage source, it is independent, it is independent, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, I naught, here is I naught, this value also is 5 I naught, so find I naught using nodal analysis, so we need to find it using nodal or mesh, whatever we like, we, I am just go with the mesh because mesh is for easy for me, so I am go with mesh. So let's begin with this. So here it's uh, one, one independent source, two independent source. So I need to go with two times. First of all, I need to go with only the current source. So for only the current source, what I'm going to do, I'm turn off this voltage source. So how to turn off this voltage source? Let me draw the another picture. So my another picture 4 ohms current source as it is and it's a 3 ohm it's a 5 ohm and here it passed for voltage source what we gonna do we gonna put a empty wire empty wire so for a dependent source we leave it as it is we leave it as it is so another 2 ohm and here is a 4 ohm resistor so this is the first one so i need to put i naught instead of i naught i put i naught dash so here also i naught dash for i naught i naught dash another thing i need to change only the voltage source without a current source that time i put i naught double dash 
so i naught is equal to what i naught dash plus i naught double dash so i need to find i naught dash and i naught double dash first of all i need to find the i naught dash so i am putting mesh analysis so i am start with here i1 so we previously did how to do mesh analysis and nodal analysis also so i1 is equal to 4 amps directly we can get and i need to put the uh, mesh analysis so starting with here minus 3 i1 from he, this mesh this mesh 1 this mesh 2 so apply mesh 1 minus 3 1 i1 6 i2 minus i3 minus 5 i naught dash is equal to 0 then minus 5 it's for 2 minus 5 i1 minus i2 plus 10 i3 plus 5 i naught dash is equal to 0 so when we solve this we need to get that i naught dash is equal to 52 by 17 ampere so first we just did that but we need to find another one which one first of all we need we find that only with the current source now we going to find the only with the voltage source it is dependent source dependent source we need we don't need to change it for us uh, turn off for this we leave it as it is for the current source what we gonna do we need to cut the current source how to cut this we don't need to find this just cut it and cut it there are no current source and here is the picture for this the 2 ohm and the 1 ohm and this is the is fine i know double dash we need to find the i know double dash we need to find the i know double dash so here is the 20 volt and in here there is a resistor 4 ohms that's it so we just gonna uh, find the i know double dash so i am using mesh analysis so i am starting with here i am putting this i4 and here i5 i just so i need to put this uh, i need i am using kvl at mesh 5 in here that's 6 i4 minus i5 minus 5 i naught double dash is equal to 0 from here we we find that that i5 is equal to minus i naught double dash in here from this so i need to put the 5 here 4 i need to put kdl for mesh 4 what is the answer 6 i4 minus 4 i naught double dash is equal to 0 so i4 plus 5 i naught double dash is equal to minus 20 so it is the first equation and it is the second equation for this so when we solve this i naught double dash is equal to minus 60 by 17 ampere so here is the two answers i naught dash and i naught double dash so when we need to find i naught just plug it in here 52 by 17 minus 16 by 60 by 17 is equal to minus 0 0.4706 amps so that is the answer using superposition theorem thank you